Hi, I'm Spencer Jones with What's What on the Water. Today, you're in for a special treat. We're checking out the 2015 Hobie Outback Kayaks. I'm here with AJ McCorder up in Sturgeon Bay. We're gonna go after some smallies here and put them to the real test on some big water. So AJ, a couple quick questions for you. We're looking at the 2015 Hobie uh, Outback right now. What can you tell me about the kayak? How is it different than the other years? Uh, well, the first thing about this boat is we've got a, a new seat. It's a, a framed high back seat, uh, lifts you off the bottom of the boat, keeps your, your butt dry, but you've got a lot of different settings so you can stay comfortable all day on the water. Uh, also, this uh, boat has, we flattened out this front hatch area so you have a little bit more of a, a flat, uh, pronounced standing area. Uh, the boat's stable as it is, but now you have a nice area to get up and you can stand up comfortably on the water. Wonderful. All right. All right, well, we'll take it out there. We'll put it to the test for a couple hours on this water, and then we'll take it to another lake and try it out there and see if this uh, Hobie Outback is a catch or a release. Another thing to look at are the turbo fins. Uh, these are the turbo fins as opposed to the regular ones, but they made some adjustments to how you can adjust them. Uh, here, I'll show you. So, right here you have different sizings for your length of feet. All you have to do is press in and pull back or forward for a shorter person, or for me, it's a little bigger, I went to six, you could go all the way up to seven as well. So, by adjusting both of them, you can easily have a comfortable paddle, so when you go, all you go is like that, almost, almost to where the knees bend. So far on the first day of using the Hobie Outback, the 2015 edition, it's pretty good. After about eight hours on the water, my back is a little bit sore. Uh, I will need to adjust the lumbar support for tomorrow a little bit. The pedals are great. They work very well, very smooth. There's no glitches or anything like that as I'm pedaling at all. They stay locked in fairly well. I had one instance where they came out, but I just lifted them out, popped them back in, they were good to go. I think my foot bumped it by accident. Other than that, I did try uh, paddling it just in case uh, you didn't have the fins, and that went uh, pretty well. It, a little bit cumbersome as it is a wider kayak, but uh, other than that, it was good. It is a wide kayak, so um, stability in it was excellent. I was standing up instantly, looking all around, turning around, no problem whatsoever. Even leaning up all the way to the front and back uh, was no problem at all. Day two of testing out and reviewing the 2015 Hobie Outback. We're up here at a northern lake in Wisconsin, hopefully going to catch some big bass and some big northern pike to put it to the test with some toothy creatures this time and see how it handles on uh, a lake uh, of this size. Well, let's give it a shot and see what we can do. Alright, I've had two days to test out the 2015 Hobie Outback. 
So far, I love this kayak. It is a fantastic kayak that you can use on lakes, on rivers, on creeks, almost anywhere that you could take a kayak, you can take this one. Um, some might think with the Mirage Drive, the pedal system, that you can't take it on rivers. Well, you have to pull it out for going through rapids, which, okay, that does part, that, that stinks. However, you just slide it back in. Uh, as soon as you're done, you can whip it around quick using the rudder, and then you can fish all the spots that people with paddle kayaks uh, would struggle with. But let's take a closer look at the kayak and see what it has to offer. Um, it has four different rod holders, two in the front and two in the back, a place to put your crate. Here, I'll turn you around and show you. So it has four rod holders, two there and two in the back. Has a spot for a crate or a cooler in the back. Comes with a new uh, Hobie seat, almost like a lawn chair style seat that is uh, adjustable in many different ways. You can pull up in the front, up and down. Uh, back stand you can pull up and down. You can't do that with one hand uh, at the moment. Um, and then it has lumbar support on the back. It also comes with netting on the sides. Nice place to put your tackle. As you might have noticed, it has built-in um, side storage. I use them for putting my bait in, put my um, fish grips in, a uh, water holder, some nice handy places for all of that. Also comes with a paddle grip on each side. As you can see, right there, paddle leash. Just put it in there, put it on. It has three main points to access the inside. The big one in front, which currently has my fleece in it. As you can see, down into there a little bit, so you can put use that for storage uh, when you're out on the water like I've been using. It has one in the center. Move, move the drive here for a second. Sorry. Turn that, pulls open. Uh, so you can get inside, right there. And it also has this insert, you know, you could use for more storage uh, of your lures. Going on back, same idea as the center. Has a really nice uh, spot for storage in there as well. Now, this kayak, MSRP for this is $22.99. With that, you get um, everything you see here, including a paddle. So you get the new seat, you get a paddle, the rudder's installed, aligned, everything's set to go there. You get the Mirage Drive. Um, I do believe you do not get the, the faster version. You have to upgrade for that, but um, you do get uh, the pedal drive, which will be huge. So, is this kayak a catch or a release? You could use this kayak anywhere. You could use it on the ocean. You could use it on a small creek. So the versatility is endless with this kayak. So in my book and what what's on the water, the catch or release review, this kayak is definitely a catch. Do you have a product that you'd like me to review on what's what on the water, catch or release review? Send me an email and let me know what the product is and I will see about getting that product so I can review it for you.